This video can be found on a public domain in the full disclaimers down below. Hey, welcome to the Danger Zone. It's Ashley. Wish you lots of love and many blessings. Now, just in case you hear some honks or beeps or dings or whatever, I'm outside on my front porch, y'all. I don't know if it was my sinuses or what, but anyway, my voice is coming back. I had lost it for like several days. I couldn't even talk to make a video. So let's get on with it. Okay, so everybody is totally laughing at them. Everybody. I mean, everybody. You know it's bad when Jessica Moroni wants nothing to do with you. She's too busy for you. And that's the case with Megan these days. The way that she and Harry represented themselves in New York was nothing but a complete embarrassment. And now it's being said that everywhere they went, she passed out a list of do's and don'ts to the staff. Who in the world does she think she is? Who did they think they are? They tried really, really hard hobnobbing with A-listers. They wanted to get in and fit in. But after these rules being passed around and the way they acted, nobody wants anything to do with them. Nobody. I think she and Harry both should feel quite embarrassed and humiliated for the way they acted while they were there. But you know they don't. They don't see a thing wrong with what they've done. That's scary. You know what else I think is pretty scary is the fact that Harry can spend his entire life, most of his childhood, pining over his mother, yet turn around and sell her out completely. And the streaming service that's putting Diana the Musical out there is, of course, Netflix. And that musical touched on every negative thing that Diana had while in the royal family. They talked every direction about her, you guys. Up one side, down the next, front and back. They ripped her mental health to shreds. Now, they're all big into mental health. When can we keep our mental health personal? He ended up allowing this to go on. It had it been my mother, and I had a little bit of clout, as he seems to have for some reason. I'd have thrown my fit. And that would have never been on, not on Netflix. It would have been them or me. And of course, he didn't say a word, y'all. Not one syllable. Nothing against it. Nothing for it. You know what, y'all? It's all about the empire. She wants to build this huge empire, and then she wants to kick him to the curb. Watch. You'll see. You know, you guys, we've always heard about the fairy tales and the scary tales that Megan has pumped into Harry's head. And I wondered why he acted so paranoid with her on his arm around his family, even when they were active roles for like two seconds. Y'all, now it's come out that she convinced Harry all that time that his family, his, his granny mostly, was using brutal signs to secretly and viciously attack them. Have you ever heard of such a thing? What is wrong with these people? What's wrong with her? And have y'all ever noticed that Doria goes everywhere they go, no matter what, and she's always sitting adjacent from Harry while they're in the car? Like, she always has to keep her eye on him. And have you ever seen two more miserable people in all of your life? Look at them sitting next to each other in the car. You're sitting there loaded with money and a beautiful house, a compound, and you can't even put a smile on your face. And you have good health. Shame on you. So now it's been discovered that they've been sneaking off with Gunthy Rinker. Am I saying that right? <laughs> Gunthy Runker. Heck, I don't know what his name is. You know what I'm talking about. That dude right there. So he is the, um, he's really the brilliant guy who came up with the fact that you could put together any kind of potion and uh, you can pour as much cantaloupe into the cheap stuff as you want to. And you can lie and say it works all day long. As long as you stick a celebrity out there with the face to sell it, you're going to be an absolute millionaire hundreds of times over. He's the guy. He's the one that, that created all of that fantasy. That youth serum, that fountain of youth. And of course all these beautiful celebrities are using it day in and day out. I've heard it didn't take much, but he does have Megan on the hook. She has signed up with him. They are creating a cheap potion to put on your face, and she is gonna sell it millions of dollars worth. That's the plan. And in the meantime, this man's provided everything they've lacked. 
you know, private jet, a beautiful little house to have an interview at, all sorts of things, shopping trips. And speaking of shopping trips, remember when she came out and saying on Oprah's couch that uh, she couldn't leave the house for months and months and months. They took out all of her identification, blah, 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 as Greta Thunberg would say. She was actually dining, having good lunches, having fun breakfasts. She was going shopping when she wanted to go shopping, where she wanted to go shopping. She would have streets blocked off with police officers. She would have stores shut down for private shopping. Think about that. What is next? What's the next lie we're going to catch her in? If her mouth has air coming out of it, it's a lie. Doesn't it feel that way with these people? I really hope you're having a good day, and I'm so grateful that you're here spending time with me. I'll see you soon, and we'll talk fast. Stay safe and be blessed.